Christopher Nolan's film Oppenheimer has drawn criticism for not showing the suffering of the more than 200,000 mostly civilian Japanese victims of the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nolan has defended his choice, arguing that this would deviate from telling the story through Oppenheimer's own perspective. He only heard about the bombings over the radio, having lost control through handing them over to the military. Even if we grant Nolan's rationale, however, he still omits significant details about the effects of the bombings, which could have been shown in a way which stayed entirely faithful to this choice of narrative framing. In doing so, he misses an opportunity not only for the audience to identify more with the Japanese, but with Oppenheimer himself. The movie includes a scene where Oppenheimer is being shown slides of the damage and casualties caused by the atomic bombings, but we are not given the chance to see what Oppenheimer sees. Nolan could easily have cut, even if momentarily, to the eerie nuclear shadows of objects and blast victims, a man was sitting there, or the woman who had the pattern of her kimono dress burnt onto her skin through the bomb's intense thermal radiation. This has already been done to powerful effect in the BBC series Oppenheimer, The Father of the Bomb. That's when the shock waves hit the observer plane. Hiroshima. Look at that. One bomb. A school. 550 yards from the blast. Oh, uh, they included some uh, shots at the first aid centers. The audience would then be seeing more of what Oppenheimer sees and experiencing more of what he experiences, which would make even more sense of the hallucination scenes and why Oppenheimer then so radically changed his stance on the further development of nuclear weapons. I feel we've got blood on our hands. As it stands, the audience is left to their own devices, literally. It's up to them to go and Google or YouTube search for themselves the details of what happened over Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, which I encourage you to do right now.